I'm David Waylock from Deal Island. We're in Dane's Quarter, but I crab and oyster for a living. My first job, I was 12 years old. That was my first real job. I made $25 a day. When I was 14, I, I was captaining the boat for a man that was crab potting. Then, yeah, after that, I got my own. I bought a boat when I was 17 and started. And when I was a teenager, it was more of a community thing than a generational thing. That's what, if you, if you grew up in the community, that's what you did. It, it, it wasn't a question about it. I mean, you were gonna try it. If you, if you didn't like it, you'd go do something else, but you were gonna try it. I used a skipjack. Most of the guys used the same boat that they crab out of, but they're allowed 15 bushels a day, and I'm allowed 150 bushels a day, but I'm only allowed two days a week. A lot of the guys right now still have their grown sons working on the boat with them. And uh, I, I would say 50 to 60 percent of the, the guys now are 60 and over. And probably 10 or more of them uh, out of 30, I'll say it's 30 on Deal Island altogether, are 70 or over, 75. And uh, now they, like I say, a lot of them have their grown sons on the boat. I'm talking 45 years old, still working with them. So if they do pass, that, that boat's probably going to keep on with them. With the restaurants closed, they, they can't move the volume of seafood that they're used to moving. It's, it's been a slower year as far as crabs, and, and that's, that's helped. We have a flooded what little bit of market there is and it's kept us picking along. We haven't made half of what we made last year, but we've made enough to keep going. We're used to it by now. You know, you're gonna have good years and bad, and just don't get, get too excited when things are going good and try to keep a little put away for the bad times. And Merlin has what they call a shell program. Each county shell committee gets a dollar back from each bushel that's landed in that county and they get to use it to buy shells with and put back on the oyster hills. The Merlin used to have a big shell program and almost all the watermen did it every spring after the oyster season was over. And they spent a lot of money and, and they, we always had oysters. It's, it's a, if you don't put back, you're not gonna have. These rocks disappear with the sediment, sand shifting if you get a bad storm, a sandbar can cover it up, and it's gone if you're not putting shells back. I like crab potting the best, I think. When, you, when you're catching a lot of crabs, and it, it's more like fun than work, it is. I guess some people think about the money while they're doing it, but it, it's, it's, it's just a lot of fun to catch a lot of crabs. I love being a waterman. I can't think of a prettier place to work and I come and go when I want and see, see Mother Nature at her best and her worst. And it's, it's good to have a, a little storm every now and then to keep it exciting.